So today I'm going to be a Halloween pumpkin skull. I'm creating the outlines for the skull where it's the skull plays its part. And rather than doing a white base, I'm going to do an uh, orange base. So I'm going to apply the lightest orange where I would highlight. Where I would highlight and then a like a copper for where I would shade so I'll be doing all my shading using copper but right now you can see I'm applying orange chameleon body paint in areas that I would highlight making my I enjoy making areas uneven to give character I like to add character to my designs so whimsical is is a go-to option this character is going to be very whimsical once you've applied your first layer of body paint onto your face or face paint depending on the brand and the product you can always layer it up to get an even coverage so now I'm using copper a metallic copper from Snazaroo and I'm applying that in areas where my skull would be shaded but using orange because it's a mixture between a skull and a pumpkin so I'm just applying my second layer and pulling it into my hairline want to get a really nice even coverage on that. I'm leaving my white outlines where they are because I feel they would add definition and nice detail to my face paint. Blend it, blend it well. You can you can blend water-based products together when they're halfway between wet and dry so when they're just setting you can really just start to blend. Okay, so using pure white chameleon body paint, I'm using a flat brush, a medium flat brush to create the teeth. Just running them across your mouth and then up your cheeks. A few highlights coming down your face to give a pumpkin effect and then shade in between. shade on your nose and your contour. I'm using eyeshadow, black eyeshadow. It's best to use a matte eyeshadow to avoid any shimmers. Any shim anything with shimmer will reflect on a camera so it's good to keep it matte so you can get good photographs. Shade in between my teeth and now I'm using black chameleon black velvet body paint to just fill out my eyes and my cheeks for the leaf I used victorious chameleon victorious which is a metallic and here comes the whimsical part looks like ribbons. I was inspired by Cinderella on these. If you notice I've kept the highlights in the leaf. Just join my hair up, join it into my hair to complete the look and around my chin and my jawline. Added another layer of black body paint onto my eyelids just to yeah glitter to finish off with eyelashes is good I ended up painting my lips black because I wanted this to be glam rather than full-on scary so I had a glam look ta-da bit of body paint 